Cancers, this is going to be a reading for November 9th through the 11th. I was going to upload this video on the 8th through the 10th, but I just didn't get to you guys. So we're here now, and let's see what messages come through. This is also general, so only take what applies and leave the rest. Um, if you want a personal, check out the description. And let's get started with the messages from your spirit guides. So let's get into these first. So this card says signs and it reads, instincts are the message from the inner divine. Very true. Whenever you, hmm, whenever you get different signs or when you intuitively feel like you should be doing certain things, that's actually spirit navigating you or not navigating you, pushing you to do certain things in your better or your highest interest. Hmm. I'm feeling like I need to tell you guys that there's a need for you to meditate during this time frame. If you are like mentally fogged, I got this strong energy of like either confusion that's coming from you know, inside or confusion that stems from things around you not being completely like revealed to you yet. So this is kind of like sitting in a space of quietness to allow things to come to your awareness. But um, then we also have surrender. And this card reads, sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. Yeah, and then this card is putting emphasis on the fact that you guys need to make sure you don't let your mind go into the space of like, I don't know, feeling as if you're on the losing end of your situation because of the fact that you don't really have a lot of control over things that are happening around you, but it's spirit actually coming through and moving some mountains in your life. And it may be confusing, but once you do surrender, the need to kind of like control a relationship, control the outcome of certain things, then you're able to kind of be in the ebb and flow of the things that are truly meant for you. Now, first card is going to represent the present energy with the Eight of Cups. This is you feeling like you want to walk away from something that doesn't really connect with you anymore, or you feel like there's, there's just nothing left there. Um, this is you also realizing that elsewhere, uh, a different job, uh, a different location, like you're, you're starting to realize that you may do better off going elsewhere. Okay. The eight of cups is right before the nine of cups. Clarifying this eight of cups, we have the two of wands. So yeah, this is you knowing that you're not completely happy where you're at now and you're more so in a space to or I don't know what's going on today um with the two of wands this is like being in a space to where you're having to decide like okay am I going to go about it this way or am I going to go about it that way am I going to stay in the same field if we're talking about career or am I going to go ahead and shift into something completely different Am I going to leave this relationship and be single? Am I going to leave this relationship and have the idea of dating still? So it's like having to make some crucial decisions in regards to what the path looks like in the future for you. Now, what I see in regards to the recent past, I have the justice card. So there may have been some legal stuff that you may have had to take care of. Uh, this could be really anything. Um, 
but this could also be if not legal stuff this is like karma that may have played out where you got to see someone who may have wronged you their direct karma or there may have been karmic events that you guys may have recently went through clarifying this justice card i have the four cups so yeah there may have been a karmic experience that you went through and you may have been a little bit dissatisfied with how things played out yeah strong karmic energy around someone who's a friends with benefits or someone who you're interested in but they're not really reaching their full potential quite yet A lot of you are also focused on getting personal balance after realizing again that there's certain things that you're not pleased with that you wish were different and this was you trying to expand your horizons knowing that it was time for you to do so but when it comes to the near future with the queen of swords there may be an air sign of significance um if not an air sign, this is you guys adapting air-like qualities where you're more so like brainstorming, trying to be strategic, trying to think smart. There could be a conversation that's had between you and another individual. You know exactly what this person is going to say because it could be very repetitive and slightly manipulative, okay? But advice... With the Page of Cups, there's a need for you to kind of get a grip on personal emotions. Um, and when I say that, this is like making sure you're not easily triggered by outside people. <clears throat> and also kind of being self-aware of your emotions and how it kind of correlates with love. Like some of you, I'm going to be honest, it's like you want new love. In your life but you could be falling for people who know how to say all the right things and make you feel good but when it comes to them having long-term potential it's like making sure that you evaluate them for that as well not just someone who makes you feel good in the moment but someone who can make you feel good all the time and not just be someone who could say a whole bunch of things and not really live up to that potential itself But definitely exploring your opportunities. Now, challenge that may come up for this time frame with the Five of Cups. This is regret. This is feeling bad for decisions that you've made. Um, this could be residing emotionally in the past and allowing yourself to exist there for way too long. Um, or, because I always say this too, this is like referencing the past whenever you speak about the future. So if you're someone where it's like, well, I want to date, but in my past, like if you have to always follow everything up with, well, this happened to me in the past as to what's going to happen in the future, you're already setting yourself up to repeat the same cycles. So this is just making sure you're not doing that as well. And missing vital opportunities to actually get to the same end goal. Because of the fact that you're kind of looking at things that you really can't control in the now. Now, last card. This is going to represent the outcome. I have the Four of Swords. So, this is you taking a mental break from some sort of situation here. Okay, you could be taking like a vacation from work. Or taking some sort of mental break from a relationship here. Um, for some of you... You more so have a lot on your mind during the end of this time frame. You could be like taking the time at night to kind of like try to contemplate, strategize, make sense of different things. Um, I see by the end of this time frame also finance is going to be a big focus in regards to how you can have either more financial balance or like you deciding on whether or not you should pick up like another stream of income and exactly what that looks like. But these are some of the things that I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you did take something from this video, definitely feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.